All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rechakadash, Barakatam, to all you Akim out there. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rechakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And salutations, peace, and mercy to the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yashar. And um, I was just meditating in the spirit. You know, thinking about um, you know, these these bodies that we are currently dwelling in, and you know, just like how how you know beat down and broken, you know, the current state of of the human body is, especially like on this side, being the last days. But um, also I was thinking about the, the the amazing things that this body can do. Like when you really like take a step back and you look at the certain things that the human body can do, like uh, it, the Heavenly Father's creation is amazing, man, right? From from acrobatics to, uh, you know, sp different sports and uh, singing and dancing and, uh, you know, jumping. Like the the, the human body is, is capable of doing so many different things, right? Whether it's uh, flexibility or just uh, uh, lifting uh, a certain amount of weight, right? So, you know, in, in my meditation, I'm thinking like if the Heavenly Father's creation of, of these these earthen uh, uh, vessels that we currently dwell in is so amazing and so uh, uh, expendable or um, a better word is um, uh, not expendable because expendable is, is something else. But the word that I'm thinking of is, is not coming to my 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 thoughts right now. But um, hey, the human body is is capable of many different things, man. Right? It's uh when you get injured, it heals itself. When when you know what I'm saying, when you when you get sick, you have an immune system, right? There's so many different things. A, a, a reproductive system, right? To be able to procreate and, and um you know to, to continue your legacy. There's so many different things that that we don't even take in, into account that the human body is, is capable of, man. Like on a carnal level, you know what I'm saying, we notice these things, you know, we we know we eat to replenish ourselves, we drink water to stay hydrated, you know, and different things and such. But when you really think about the the inner mechanisms of, of, of the human body, it's truly amazing, man. And my thought in the spirit was, imagine how beautiful and, 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 and tangible those celestial bodies will be, those extraterrestrial bodies that, that we're going to dwell in on this earth, right? And, and uh, there will be where there's no more pain, no more suffering, no more, uh, 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 um, you know, sadness. Right. All pleasure, all. Um, uh, um, well, not so, so much as pleasure, but we will have every every um, good aspect of, of the terrestrial body. But it'll be uh, extra. That's why it's called an extraterrestrial body. You see. So. Um, hey, just imagine it, man. Just think about the thing. No more knee pains, back pains, no more sicknesses and, and um, uh, no more having to, uh, you know, recuperate after you, <laughs> you deal with your woman, you know, you get the brain foggy or, you know what I'm saying? You might you be super tired. You don't want to do nothing the next day. No more, uh, being exhausted, man. Right. No more, uh, 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 feeling like, damn, I got eight hours of sleep, but I'm still tired. Right. We're going to, hey, you have about Shimei Shai is about to make, uh, uh, make us brand new creatures, man. You know, something that we have never experienced on this, on this earth ever. The amount of times that we've been re reincarnated and we came back, we, we will never experience what we're about to experience in the kingdom of heaven, man. You see, that's why the scriptures say, I have not seen nor ear heard that which the heavenly father has in store for those that love him, man. You see? So, hey, <laughs> just meditating on this and thinking about this, it, it, it boosts your spirit. It, it makes you crave that, if anything, that new body, man, that, that uh, incorruptible uh, body, that incorruptible crown that Yahweh Shah is going to bring uh, during his second, his second coming. And when you meditate on these things, that's why the scriptures say where your heart is, there your, there is your treasure also. You see, if you're constantly meditating, oh, yeah, I need to get this money. I'm trying to get me a new pair of J's. I'm trying to. Your, your mindset is on this earth. Your, your mindset is, is uh, 
uh, carnally. You see, it's a carnal mind state. That's why the scriptures say a carnal mind is enmity with the most high. But when you think about the spiritual body, when you think about uh, no, the new body, right? When you think about the, um, the kingdom of heaven, what we're going to experience, how we're going to experience it, what we're going to feel when we experience it. You see what we're going to feel when Yahweh Shai returns for the first time. When he cracks open those clouds, we, that's a that's a spiritual mind. And, and with that spiritual mind. Is going to keep you closer to the Heavenly Father and His Son. And the, the closer you are to the Heavenly Father and His Son, it, the, the more likely you are a part of the elect. And you will be delivered. You know, Lord willing, you know, I'll be a part of that number as well. And you brothers. But we have to stay focused, man. Right? Meditate on these things. Meditate on, on what's, what, what the Heavenly Father has promised us. That we will, we will dwell in the land once again. That he would deliver us from Babylon, this this captivity. I done enough uh, ranting now, but I'm gonna grab this, you know, because you know this is the main precept that comes to mind when you think about the new body. First uh, Corinthians, or First Corinthians uh, 15, and I'm gonna start at at uh, 30 39. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beast another of fishes and another of birds. So no flesh is the same, right? You got human body, you got birds, animals, and, and, and different, uh, you know, such things that like we eat, you know? That's why um, uh, the Heavenly Father, one of, the, one of the curses is to eat the fruit of the womb, right? During the siege, because they eating, eating another person, eating a baby, eating, you know, human flesh is, is not, um, it's not righteous. It's not considered healthy or a delicacy or anything as such, right? It's actually looked down upon, even in the world. Like, what you ate, you know? So, um, verse 40, it says, There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. So you have the celestial bodies, the angels, right? Even us, we have celestial bodies in the heavens when we pass Right. The spirit um, is uh, taken away from this this earthen vessel or this ter terrestrial vessel. We have a spiritual body that that awaits us in the heavens. That way, you know, we receive our judgment, you know, uh, however long we up there. And then um, that spirit comes back down into a new body in the third and fourth generation. <laughs> right. And it says the glory of the celestial one and the glory of the terrestrial is different is another. Right. The celestial body doesn't have to eat. It doesn't have to sleep. You know, you don't have brain fog. You, you, you know, celestial body is perfect, right? And it, and it constantly uh, praises the Heavenly Father. The terrestrial body has to eat, sleep, bathe, right? Because it gets filthy. It stinks. It's, you know, you might get musty here and there, right? Uh, uh, the, the terrestrial body um, craves pleasure, right? The, 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 the pleasure of sleep, you know, dealing with a woman or, uh, um, you know, the dopamine, that's released in, in the brain. You see, uh, it says there is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars for one star differ different from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in, in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. So um, the resurrection of the dead is sold in corruption, but is raised, raised in incorruption. That's why the scriptures say that um, they, they that be dead uh, shall rise when Yahweh Shai first, roughly paraphrasing, right? So when Yahweh Shai um, is on his way, when he's returning, the, the dead in Yahweh Shai is going to rise first. You see? And, and then we're going to be called up with them. Lord willing, we be a part of that. We're going to be called up with them. To see the Lord in the sky, in the heavens. Right? It is sown in dishonor and is raised in glory. We're, right now, uh, the scriptures say before uh, glory uh, comes uh, hu uh, humiliation. Right? So, uh, right now, we're sown in dishonor. The, the, the things that we have to do just to live on a daily day. Right? A lot of this stuff is dishonorable, man. But um, going to the point, right? Let me jump down. Uh, let's see. 
verse 49. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we also shall bear the image of the, the heavenly. That's why in the uh, Philippians it says, um, we, sh uh, we shall, this let me see if I can grab it real quick. Because I don't want to, let me do this, do that. Then jump to Philippians 3 and 20. For our conversation is in heaven. From whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able, able even to subdue all things unto himself. So we're we're waiting for Yahweh Shai to come and change these vile bodies into the, the into the likeness of his glorious body. You see, because Yahweh Shai, he's in his he's in his perfection right now. Right. He's in the heavens. He's he's on the right hand of the father. So we're, we're, we're patiently waiting. That's why the scriptures say, wait ye on me until I rise up against the pay. We're waiting patiently to be changed like like Yahweh Shah was changed. But we have to endure certain things before we get to that point. Right. We have to. Uh, uh, the scriptures say um, the servant is not greater than his Lord. So we have to endure much tribulation. We have to uh, endure affliction before we can receive the glorification that Yahweh Shah received. And it takes patience, man. You think Yahweh Shah, you, everything that, that Yahweh Shah did just happened overnight? No. It was a course of a time, right? Yahweh Shah was, what, 33 years old? He started his ministry at 12 years old, man. So from, from 12 to 33, all of the works that Yahweh Shah did, it couldn't even be written in the books, man. If, if, if it, they had to simplify, they had to some, uh, was it a summary of, of all the things that Yahweh Shai did from, from his youth on on uh, uh, until he was crucified. Now we're waiting patiently, right? This devil, he, you know, he's, he's, he's coming up with his, his, uh, his, his, his agenda to, you know, chip everybody up we're just gonna be playing with it right he wants to he wants to put a, a technology within your temple so he can control you man you see but we're waiting patiently for the day that that when he does when he the scriptures say when he's about to fill his belly Yahweh by shimmy our shy is going to stop him man that's what we're waiting on we're waiting on that day the day when when this devil thing he he didn't did it so he can be destroyed man let me jump back because this is just a quick video through the spirit and power. How about Shemiah Verse 50, uh, 1 Corinthians 1, uh, 15 and 50. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. So we can't enter into the kingdom in these bodies, man. These bodies will go off, right? As soon as you get in the chariot <laughs> in the kingdom and you in this body, you going off, man. You see what I'm saying? Off rip. Off rip. You're, you're going to go off. So we have to be changed. That's why it says this in the next verse. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be. We all shall be changed or slack you, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. So the dead is going to be raised incorruptible, man. You see? So if, if, if your lot is to die on this side, be a martyr for Yahweh Shai, you're going to be raised incorruptible. You're, you're, hey, <laughs> you have to think about these things as well, man. The Lord is almighty. He's omnipotent. If the Heavenly Father didn't want you to feel pain, you wouldn't feel pain. There's times where I... It hit some shit, <laughs> you know, stub my toe on something or, you know, hit my, hit my elbow on a, on, a, on a corner or somewhere. And I didn't even feel it. It made a bang or a noise. I'm like, oh, shit. I didn't even feel that. The heavenly the scriptures say I wound and I heal. So there's going to be moments when Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is going to test your faith and, and, and you're going to be in a predicament where you're going to either believe on him or you're in a cave, man. Just believe, have faith, trust in him with, with all your heart. You see? Verse 53, for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. 
So when this corruptible shall have put on in, in corruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. So death is going to be swallowed up in victory. Yahweh Shai has prevailed against this world, man. We have the victory through Yahweh Shai. So trust in him, believe in him, and, 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 and ye shall be saved, man. Right? Call upon him that ye may receive your, your crown, your incorruptible crown. In that, that new body, that extraterrestrial body, man. So this was just a thought in the spirit. I pray this was edifying and exhorting. I want to give all praises once again to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Shalom.